Everyone loves a good loadout video, but most people, myself included, fall into the trap of buying stuff and then trying to fit it into any scenario that could arise. That's where thought exercises come in, like this. Something that we can do to put a loadout through a mental crucible to determine if we have what we think we really need. The way we do this is by creating mock situations. So today, Drew is gonna give me a situation and a mission along with some parameters, and I have to build a loadout specifically for that task in a given timeline. Then we break it down and we judge my ability to pull tools together as a team and assess how that situation would have gone. Now, you guys will also have ideas and scenarios and tools and equipment that you would have brought all on your own. And we want some of that feedback as well because the goal in this mind game is for all of us to be better. Here's your scenario. 30 days ago, the financial system in this country collapsed. A week ago, all goods coming in and out of our small community was completely cut off. Since then, good people have resorted to doing bad things for their family. Bad people have been committing violence since the start. You have emergency supplies on hand, but they won't last forever, and there's no telling when order will be restored to the area. John Deere down, John Deere down. One flat tire, mile marker three, bring six friends ASAP. The message you just heard over the radio came from a neighbor that lives one mile from you. It has a hidden meaning that breaks down to this. I've shot a deer, I'm hurt, location is tree stand number three, challenge pass is six. You know that this farmer is an avid hunter. His home is five miles by road or one mile by foot. He's about 70 years old, but needs your help. You have a wife and newborn at home. You have 15 minutes to prep your gear, a plan, make a decision, and go. You ready? I guess so. Let's go. All right. Okay, I'm working with limited time here, but if I know where I'm going and as long as it's saved in the GPS, I definitely need that. Uh, let's find out what gun I'm taking. So this is kind of my standard go-to, this LMT, uh, which is an awesome build, but it's a little bit compact. It's kind of heavy for what I'm doing. I'm also not gonna be trying to shoot it out on all of my, I don't know, walking and uh, trying to figure out what's going on with my neighbors. So let's make sure that I have, it's loaded. Okay, so I have a GPS, I have a rifle with an LPVO, Criterion 14.5, Huxworks can, fairly simple and lightweight up on the front, Tango 6T, Delta Point Pro mounted on top. If you're looking for accessories like this, Shooting Surplus is one of the sponsors of this video and they carry a lot of accessories that go along with tools like this, if you're curious. So let's throw that on there and get that out of the way. I at least have a, a rifle prepped. Um, I'm gonna need, I want boots. So these are um, Kentrek hard scrabble boots. They have recently been waxed up. You do have to keep wax uh, on leather boots like that. So something to keep in mind. Oh yeah, okay. Um, I don't, think, <clears throat> I don't think I'm gonna take a sleeping system because I'm probably not gonna be gone very long. Oh, for that matter, I'm gonna wanna tell my wife. So if I have a wife and a newborn at home, I need to tell her comms. So I'll have a radio with me. While I'm here, I'll grab this. And I'll make sure that she has some way to communicate with me and I have a way to communicate with her. So I'll make sure that we're on the same frequency and tell her what's going on. So she's gonna need a radio and then as well as a rifle. I'll probably give her my primary gun and she can use that if need be. So the chest rig, let's set this down real quick. We'll be, we'll get back to that. The chest rig, what do I have in here? This tends to stay loaded out as is. In the front here, I have something to write on, something to write with, as well as a compass. Uh, the guts in here, there's a ton of stuff in here, but a lot of general tools that I can use. So I have super glue if I get a cut, uh, emergency ear pro, fire, electrical tape, a little bit of uh, gun lube if need be, water purification tabs, things like that. So that goes into the chest rig. I also have some extra batteries. On body, I do have water as well as another little can of uh, iodine tablets if need be. Uh, yeah, we're moving right along. Tourniquet, multi-tool in here, red headlamp. And then, you know, again, with the mindset that I'm going to be going out and trying to help someone with medical, I wanna make sure that I grab medical. I'm not trying to fight a whole ton of people. If anything, I'm probably gonna try to just get in, get out, and not be gone very long. So with that in mind, speed, 
is going to be my security. I'm also alone, so I don't know, I'm trying to decide. I'm gonna ditch, I'm gonna ditch two of these mags. I don't need to carry all of this extra weight, and there's a ton of ammo in my backpack. So let's grab that as well. Um, this is another item that stays loaded for me. Let's set this down for a minute, and that goes with that. Okay, um, so this is a pack that stays loaded for me. I have a bunch of tools like a uh, Gerber entry tool. Oh gosh, Let's see if I can get this out. It's uh, gets snapped in there pretty tight, which is good. So I can dig with this, I can pry with this, I can cut with it, that stays on the outside. On the opposite side, I have a Gerber E-Tool. You guys know what E-Tools look like? In the top here, medical. I, I wanna shave weight as best as possible because I wanna move fast, but he said that he's hurt. I don't know what hurt means. So I'm going to keep all of my medical equipment with me and I do have a handful of different stuff in here from multiple tourniquets to blowout kits, uh, burn dressings. I also have a, uh, a splint in here somewhere. Let's make sure I have that on hand. Uh, Band-aids and another tourniquet, so that's going to stay on the top. Um, okay. Uh, on the front here, I have things that you can uh, do to increase your survivability as well. If I have to go to the bathroom, I want to hold on to that. A black plastic bag and then an emergency blanket. Those are going to stay because, once again, I don't know what's going on with this guy and I have minimal time. Make sure that those all stay in there nice and snug. Uh, what's in this one? Fire starter kit, good to have. There's my splint. Sam splint in case he rolled his ankle or you know broke his, broke his arm or something like that. These can be used to throw over something or someone if you wanna hide, uh, create shade if need be. You can also, it's just a big piece of fabric. You can make a triangle bandage if someone has a broken arm. So those also are going to stay. You know, so this, this shooting mat over here on this other side, I've thought about what I can do with this, kind of a, a multi-purpose tool for a while. It will roll out. This is made by um, Armageddon Gear. So it rolls out, you can lay down on it and shoot, but it also can be a good summertime sleeping pad. It just kind of keeps you up off the ground. It is humid in Tennessee, keeps moisture from coming into your body. So I will hold on to that and then, Oh boy, dig into this Everly stock pack. So what do I keep in here? That's right. Um, so on the top, I have a rain jacket. I have a balaclava. I have a change of socks and then long johns if it does get cold. The weather around here can be really crazy. A jet boil, I'm not planning on being out for very long. I also don't have any food packed in here at the moment. I'm only gonna be away from my house for one mile, at worst, I'd say 12 to 24 hours. 24 would be bad, but I don't need to carry this extra weight. This is going to stay here. Um, this is a waterproof bag that has socks and underwear in it. Definitely want to hold on to that. A bivy sack. If nothing else, I want to keep the bugs off of me. So I'll hold on to this, but I don't think I need a full sleeping bag. So I'm going to ditch this, and that's where a whoopee comes in. If I have to throw this on, it can go on over my uh, not plate carrier, my chest rig. Breaks up an outline if I am wearing different colors. It's really green in Tennessee right now, so I'll hold on to this and this will be a part of a sleeping system. And if I need to crawl into a, a bivy sack, at least I have one of those. Get rid of this guy for a second. Extra medical nods. I definitely want nods. Okay, so there's this cool, this cool rig that's all set up. Uh, the boonie cap was given to us by Americana Pipe Dream. And then this, this rig that's kind of like a nightcap is made by Tracer Tactical. And you can thread everything through and put your PBS-14 or dual tubes or whatever that you have on here. And I could take a helmet, but I'm trying to move fast and I don't wanna have all that extra bulk sitting on here. I don't wanna be wearing a helmet during the daytime if I can help it. So inside of this pouch, I have gloves, a wool hat, and then my 14 and some batteries to keep it running as well. And this will just sit on the inside of the hat. Not perfectly protected, but 14s are a lot more durable than people think. Water filtration, I'll take some water, but I know that a mile in pretty much any direction, there's a ton of farmers around here. I do have a good relationship with a lot of them, and I, I probably won't be hurting for water as long as I have a way to filter and purify. Um, 
Okay, there's a lot of uses for these. This is, uh, if you guys have a, an Eno hammock, you guys probably recognize this. It's just a bunch of nylon straps with adjustable settings. And yes, you can hang a hammock with it, but if it's durable enough to hold two people, you could probably lift or pull a deer or probably find a way to make a litter with this. So I'm gonna hold on to these. And then two or three more items that I have down here. Oh, this is kind of cool. So I have set up, check this out, a pull tab on the top. I ran some 550 cord through this ammo satchel. So this, this bag, a lot of people are curious about. This is just a saw pouch made by Eagle and it'll hold link or you can hold six P mags. If I'm ditching ammo, I don't really feel like I need to, uh, I just had a good idea. I'll ditch all of this and I'm gonna take those other two mags back. I don't necessarily want to carry them on body, but it's not a bad idea to have two more mags. So these are gonna go back down in here. Now I'm packing and unpacking at the same time. Um, okay, general miscellaneous tools. This is kind of uh, bigger, beefier items, sort of like what I have in my chest rig. I have a lot of small tools in there. This has 550 cord, it has, uh, let's see, tweezers and some, some knives to dress out a deer if need be. I don't have a ton of experience in that, but I'm gonna go help someone who does. And then a suture kit and things like that. I think I wanna hold on to this, but another item that I can ditch is a gun cleaning kit. We have a video on our, well, my idea of a functional gun cleaning kit on our website. Go check it out if you need to, but I'm not gonna be gone long enough that I think I'm gonna need to actually take this. I do want to break up my outline though, because again, it's really green. This is a tan pack. So let's throw that on there. Set this here, set that there. Let's cinch everything down. Um, this goes to that. Good. Drew, how we doing on time, man? Okay. Well, at least I have pretty much everything sorted here. Can I still access my mags there right on top? Good, I like that. I have a cinch. Where does the cinch run to? Perfect. Let's put the soft stuff in the middle here. Water, I want up a little bit higher. Let's set that there close to the body. Nods, can't forget those, and pad it as best as possible. Let's cinch this sucker down. Oh man, I just realized I threw boots. I think I'm gonna want some, uh, I think I'm gonna want some gaiters. There's a lot of ticks and it does get wet out here in Tennessee. That's fairly well packed. Cinched down well, I don't want stuff moving around on me. Yeah, I did remove some items, so let's make sure that that's not gonna move around a bunch. Close this. Good. Close my top cap. Come on now. Okay, now, let's throw this back in here. Good, and I can take my 100 Concepts cover. The nice thing is this could come off if need be. Let's say I'm moving through a bunch of trees and I feel like I'm snagging on stuff. Um, I have not found that to be the case. I've hiked around with it a fair amount. Plus there's Molly on this backpack, so if stuff's gonna snag, it's gonna snag. And cinch this so it doesn't move on me a bunch. Good, okay. I don't need this piece. Oh, I'm also wearing a pistol. I don't need this pistol. Um, I'm taking a rifle, especially carrying appendix. That's not gonna happen for me, so let's just set this here. Um, build this back out real quick. I have my three mags. That's gassed up. I know that these are because I tend to leave it gassed up. Note, something to write on, something to write with. Seal that. Very good, very good. I gotta change my boots. But other than that, I think this is pretty ready. Let's do a, a quick check and make sure that everything is fitting and feeling good. Oh, ear pro. Um, have a down lead to actually run to my comms. So let's do this. Okay, I have medical, 
I have stuff to take care of myself. I have a rifle. I do not have a pistol. Uh, I need to communicate with my wife and tell her what's going on. Good. I'm trying to get all this weight as much as possible on my hips. Cinch that down. Close that up. I'm sure people have particular ways to actually cinch everything down on their pack. But as long as it works for you, the goal is to get the weight off of your shoulders and more onto your hips. Very good, very good. Do I have batteries in here? Yes, I do. Nice. Okay. Uh, dang it. There's always something going on. This is going to have to come with me and I'm going to have to pack it on the way. Okay, close this back up. Three minutes left. Okay, am I forgetting anything? Um, no, I guess I'll use those three minutes to go talk to my wife. Explain, apologize, whatever it is that you have to do. Very good. I have to do some cable management here because this is all done last minute. I will go tell her. I have a route as far as where I'm going. I'm gonna throw some boots on while I talk to my wife. And this needs to be packed in last minute as well. Hey babe. Are you playing with your friends again? Yep, never mind. <laughs>